What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Well, I am still not back on the mountain. I'm actually in Tipton, Georgia right now at my niece and my nephew's house and I am bringing something back to the mountain. I am bringing back a golf cart to the mountain. My niece reached out to me and said, do you want a golf cart, Uncle David? Because I need it off my back porch. So we worked out a deal and it looks like I am bringing a golf cart back and maybe even a dog. I'm going to check out the dog and kind of check it out and I'll let you know. Let's go ahead and get this thing loaded up. Ah, a new ride on the mountain. Now we got to come up with a name. Come on. Ew. Hello. What can we check for Aggie? <laughs> Hey, look, that gross, you, but, whoa, today we have a construction day, but today's going to be some fun. You see all my hair. Daddy, can I get water? Can I get water? Cause she's thirsty. She's thirsty. Yeah, because she's sticking her tongue out. I'll get Lala some water. Well, guys, y'all stay right here for a second. Well, no. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'm on it. I'm a good cameraman. Huh? She told me to hold the camera. I said, I'm a good cameraman. I got you. <laughs> What's the dog's name? Huh? What's the name? Lala. Lala? Yeah. Hey, Lala. Man, she just... <laughs> Hello. Hello, buddy. Doggy. Look at my uncle's truck. <laughs> Who just farted? I hear it. I didn't fart. You did. Because I heard it. It was you that farted. No, I heard it. wasn't me. I got it on video. Here. Don't drop it, okay? Come on.
No, I got it. You think this thing be fun? Huh? Yeah, it should. Yeah. Lola is going to a new home. Are you ready, Lola? My name is Lola, not Lala? Lola. Lala? It's Lala? Yes, it's Lala, not Lola. Okay, Lala. She stinks. Does she got a leash? Yes, ma'am. Do you want to be a YouTuber? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys. We got the golf cart loaded up. We got the cage and the kennel and all of that. And they got and we got my beautiful great great niece right here hey. hanging out hey. oh. now guys when i started this trip to florida i was not expecting to get this or a new dog for the mountain but my niece reached out to me whenever i, I always try to swing by and see her when i'm making this florida trip and she got me guys she got me i was interested in the golf cart but then she's like, Uncle David, can you please bring my poodle to the mountain because uh, she does not get enough attention. So we're gonna turn her into a mountain poodle, come on. Well, unfortunately guys, this trip has taken me right through Atlanta and look at this traffic. People wonder why I live on the mountains. Because I used to have to deal with this ah, every day of my life, guys. Ah, a little background is when I was about 18, 19 years old, I actually lived a little bit north of Atlanta and worked in Atlanta with a precast company called Rutledge and Sons. And I was a ground foreman for them. Uh, hanging structural precast. I actually built the Olympic Stadium back in the day when the Olympics came to Atlanta and I also built the new federal building that they built here to replace the one that got bombed. So that was a long, long, long time ago guys and I used to deal with this traffic every single day of my life. Atlanta has got one of the worst traffics huh, out of any city I've ever been in where it just plays comedians during rush hour in the mornings and the evenings just to keep people laughing to cut down on road rage. Uh, I do not miss this kind of traffic, guys. But I believe it's...
Whew. All right, guys, it's time to get some gas. Huh, that was a long little stretch. But we are in Leed, Alabama. And I seen a Bucky sign a long, long time ago. And it worked out to where I'm 53 miles away from empty. And I get to stop at a Bucky's because y'all know me, if you've been around a while, if there's a Bucky's in the area, that's gonna be my stop. And I'm also a little hungry. So let's see what this Bucky's is all about because I haven't been to this one yet. All right, guys, I have made it back to Come On Mountain. The golf cart has made the trip. And of course, Ryder is already up here checking everything out. It's like, where have you been, Daddy? Huh? Where have you been? Huh, I actually got here last night, guys, at about 2.30 in the morning. 16 and a half hours straight. Woo! I laid down at about 3 o'clock and woke up at 8 o'clock. Yeah. And as you can hear, all the animals are out here very active today. They have missed their daddy. But we got to get this unloaded. Mike's already got the ramps up here. Because I'm out of gas. And I got to get some gas because I got a lot of work to do, guys. We are about to get it in. And it was a great, great, amazing, amazing vacation i had a great time a lot of stuff's happened guys a lot of stuff's happened as you can see i got a girlfriend ah uh, there's a lot of changes that are coming to come on mountain 
And before all of that can happen, I got to get my butt busy. So let's go ahead and get this golf cart unloaded. Tied up at the seat and ran through there. And I'm kind of just... Yeah, I might have had it strapped. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little strapping going on. Yeah, it's a thing. It is a thing. Okay. Uh, it should be good. There is a new dog on Come On Mountain. Now, this dog right here has special needs. Um, it was my niece's dog and she begged me to bring it to the mountain so it can have a good life and have room, room to kind of roam and just relax because she was in an apartment. And I believe this dog is autistic and uh, basically just makes a bunch of left turns a lot of time, kind of like NASCAR. You know, I might nickname her NASCAR, but uh, this is Lala. Hey, Lala. And she is a toy poodle. She's actually registered. Huh? You registered? We're going to have to come up with a nickname for you. <laughs> what do you think about her, Lisa? She's so cute. <laughs> She's so sweet. So, I let her out in the yard this morning. She's not used to having, like, nice green grass and all of that stuff to play in. And she just wandered her way to the edge of the woods by the grass and just kind of sat down and has been enjoying the sun. So I think she's going to have a nice little life. Huh? With, with no pressures. You're going to be my little snuggle buddy. It's going to be my little TV watcher with me. <laughs> the mountain is growing, guys. The mountain is growing. But check this out. Look what I woke up to this morning. Look at all of that green grass, guys. My front yard looks like a golf course. So I planted this seed the day before I left and I've been gone for about two weeks. And this is what's happened. And it's everywhere. It's still a little bare in some spots here, but it is coming through. Look at that guys. What do you think about it? It's crazy, right? Mother it, nature is oppressive. I, it, and this happened overnight almost. I came over here one night. I did the animals, turn your generator on, came back the next morning sprouted up i was like what what yeah it's insane it is crazy just a couple of weeks ago guys there was trees everywhere nothing but dirt and now we just got all of this grass and it still has some doing to do but look at that guys it is looking absolutely amazing all right guys i figured out the secret to growing grass plant it and go on vacation and you come back and you got a, a golf course. Hey, works out. I guess that's one way to stay off of it. <laughs> but look guys, even around the side and the back was already doing good before I left. But uh, it looks good. We'll show you the back uh, later on. We got to run to town right now. And uh, somebody's wanting to do some manicuring in the backyard. That's right. So I'm going to hold off on showing you that part until we get back from town. But yeah. It's exciting. I'm back home. Whew, it feels like it's been a while. The trip was only supposed to be about four days, five days. I extended it for uh, another week, and I'm glad I did. I really, really needed the break, and uh, now I'm ready to get at it because it's going to be a busy summer, guys. There's a lot coming up here on the mountain. And, of course, Ryder right here has missed Daddy. We got Midnight over there hiding. She still won't let me pet her, but she stays close. 
And of course we got Eclipse. Eclipse has been having play dates every day. Eclipse might not even want me back because she's been able to play with her friends the whole time, huh? You've been able to play with your friends the whole time, huh? Huh? Yeah, you missed your daddy. Okay, guys, she still missed me. But she's going to be like, so do I still get to play every day? Huh? Do I still get to play every day, huh? <laughs> All right, guys, let's go to town. This is their first meeting. The supervisor is like, what is that? It's National Geographic, guys. Yeah. You know a little something about that. That's right. <laughs> Ryder, Ryder said not today. Not today. <laughs> we, uh, Lissa just introduced her to Eclipse also, and Eclipse was very, uh, very gentle with her. Just sniffed her a lot and didn't even... Not even very rambunctious or at all. It, Eclipse was really nice. And we know that's rare. I know. That, it blew my mind, actually. I think Eclipse can sense that she's a little different. Yeah. But look at that hairstyle, guys. Yeah. You know. <laughs> a little Rasta Rasta. It's Mama Rasta. <laughs> Free overload. Okay. You got to go back in the house for a minute. <laughs> all right, guys. We just filled up. Tell me that's not a welcome back to the mountain. Woo! All right, we're gonna go ahead and grab some two by fours and probably some one by fours and some two by twos for the rabbit hutches. this lumber and gas in the back of this truck you'd think you'd own some kind of company yeah it's called uh, a broke company <laughs> yeah I've been needing to get one of these Is that how you got your new girlfriend? Yeah. <laughs> Power lifting. 